points per game over his last four. Wasn't feeling well in one of those games. One of the other games of Blot wasn't on the floor a ton. Here's Batapse from outside. No good on the three. Pacers have missed eight threes in a row. Middleton, a tough shot. It would not drop. Tough shot. Now you allow the Pacers to come down and possibly get a two for one here. Milwaukee's got a foul to give. McConnell moving to his right. Hits again. TJ McConnell, seven of McDermott. Four seconds to go in the quarter. Matanze's jumper is there. And it's a 10 point. And they are in full command of this game, leading 115 to 87. It will not be consecutive losses for the Bucks. It hasn't happened all year. And that trend on to catch Memphis. It's hard to imagine a team in seventh going all the way to the fourth spot, picking up four games and jumping three teams as Donis is going way up in the air, but a loose ball foul call on Milwaukee. Facing right opportunity. They have an, another brother still in high school here in Milwaukee, actually. Tatsay gets it to go. And then it's a stretch of seven consent. Not let you let up late in the season when you really don't need wins. You're out in the number one seed, but something that just keep you engaged. To me, that, that's the biggest thing. This one against playoff teams. They still have to play Toronto twice and Boston twice. They're 2-0 against the Raptors. They've split so far with the Celtics. Batatse in the paint drops it in. Bottom of the hour, New Orleans and Dallas up next here on ESPN. Next time we'll see the Bucs will be at the Lakers on Friday in a matchup of the top two teams in the NBA in terms of records.